plan. Here, when you have not controlled the corridors and the, the tall buildings, yeah. that's where the problem is. Yeah. But once you have already uh, controlled the, the corridors, the corridors already and constructed the escort barriers, mm -hmm. and you have entered the tall buildings, mm -hmm. then you, have, you take the day. This is uh, the location of the hotel at Kilometer 5 in Mogadishu City where uh, the terrorist bombed a hotel and as you can see the destruction around so many people have died we have not yet established the number of the people that have died and um, we been informed that uh, some people are still trapped up in the rubble and they have been falling but their batteries, uh, the phone batteries have uh, uh, gone off and, and uh, all efforts are in place to make sure that uh, we get the survivors from the rubble. And uh, we have just visited this place to assess the, the, the situation and see how we can help. Two people calling from somewhere in this area and we don't know where exactly. This is a, a cowardice action by the terrorists, the Al-Shabaab. This is to force the civilian population into, you know, fearing them and, you know, supporting them. But it's a, a cowardice act and uh, we shall defeat all this. Stay the same, you know. I just hope their stories will still be told. Her alarm goes off and she gets up to watch the morning news. Doesn't work no more. But tells Battle Group 19 has been operating in a very difficult area that is in Mark District in the Lower Shabelle region, and um, they have done a, a, a good job in that area. They have been protecting the civilians, you know, we have IDPCs, displaced people's camps. They have offered security to the uh, population in uh, uh, different areas, in different IDPCs and, uh, and in centers. We have many civilians in some towns, so they have been offering security to, to the population. Of course, the incoming battle group also, we expect them to, you know, achieve uh, much more even than uh, battle group 19. Of course, the security of the MSR is paramount because the, the, that's the main supply route. Um, the security of the population is very, very important. And, all, and also fighting the Al-Shabaab to degrade the Al-Shabaab in, in that way. That's, that, that's why we are here. Uh, to support the government, you know, in, 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 in its functions, you know. Dear Rasi Congo, now we are talking about Battle Group 20, handling the situation right from Beledamu. No, no, for your courage and uh, contribution to uh, Mariangwai, Anson. Burumalere, after... We have been able to be very vigilant by being, being very active. They're carrying out active defense operations have been very active in this. You know, Al-Shabaab is always watching because they are within the population, but they have not been able to attack or overrun any of our FOBs for the last one year. That's a very big achievement. Congratulations. So, when you know what?
I take this opportunity to thank the battle group commander and his officers and men who have managed to withstand the situation, control the men, and be able to operate successfully and come back safely. For that matter, let us give them a, 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 loud, a loud of applause for this job well done. Batiana, Hos Udegana or Marquena, you do in Madena. Those past months, we were staying in town, staying in good, good accommodation, but now you see where they are. Yeah, it seems that there's no morale. They have no capacity to fight. Uh, also, they don't have ammunition. Yeah, whatever they had, to do. we are coming, they just hustling. Forgotten, our heroes so brave and bold. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes, so they ain't got old. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes, so brave and bold. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes, so they good power and we have uh, a tactical activity I say so they don't have any any food they don't have any food they don't have any water as so they are they are running away and we are following them and we need to catch all of them her alarm goes off and she gets up to watch the morning news Doesn't work no more but tells a lot of stories about her youth Drinks more lately and got pills in many different colors too Morning light is showing she moves the chair to look out at her view But a shop was bought right across the street And it stands by the sunrise he used to be in the afternoon Couch to read those through old pictures and memories. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes so brave and bold. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes so they ain't got old. Our heroes have been forgotten. Our heroes so brave and bold. Our heroes have been forgotten. Those uh, tank beaches and they target. But all the same, we have to move hard to ensure that. We, uh, we overcome those challenges, and we did. The only option is to move forward and take, take the war to the enemy. Because we were sitting in one place and the enemy could keep on throwing uh, mortar shells in our positions. Even the airport was under threat. Uh, all our roads, uh, our lines of communication were under threat. So the best option was to move the enemy far away from our position. So first phase was to move towards Bakara. Not to capture Bakara, but move towards Bakara. And we achieved that around the 28th of May. We achieved that, and that is Wana Road. Second phase was to get Bondere. And when we got Bondere, it gave us now it expanded, it, it, it created, uh, uh, it gave us now room to uh, move on the enemy from a lot of uh, uh, prongs. The 
second phase of operation was to move to the stadium. Why was the stadium very important to us? It was the tactical headquarters of Al Shabaab. That's where the planning cell was. That was where the training area was. All these mortar shells was being fired from the stadium. So when you moved to the stadium and avoided Bakara, it helped us to cut off their lines of communication. They could not come into Bakara. Of course, the, uh, the ultimate goal was to get Bakara. Why? Bakara was the economic hub of the enemy. That's where the enemy was getting its funding. Side, come beside, beside the one. Okay. You see? You go there. That one. Now, but this is the commercial center. Mm. Yes. The, the center of Bakara. Just from what? here to that, all those houses. Uh -huh. That one we now control it. Of course, third phase was to get X control ballad. X control ballad uh, brings us uh, to the end of phase one of Amazon. 